first of all, after Top Chef, you know, everybody's coming, do you have a restaurant? They come up to you, do you have a restaurant? Do you have a cookbook? And what I would hear was, do you want more homework? And the answer, of course, was no. Because, you know, I was so busy, you know, with catering and everything. But um, I felt like after um, the, doing um, All Stars, it was time. And I decided that, and, and it's funny because I think that the viewers help you sort of put you in your lane sometimes because they're like, oh, you're the one who does desserts. You're the chef who does the, the comfort food. And even though I, I say that I want to, to make food that, that hugs you, I didn't really think of myself as a Southern chef. But because it's so much a part of me, it is my lens. It's how I see things. I mean, you know, I could probably um, do an Italian dish and think, okay, how can I make this, you know, Southern? No, I'm just kidding. But so I, I just wanted, I wanted to have a book where people got to know me and they got to know me through my food and some of the stories and where I came from and how I came to be on Top Chef. So the book is, is very much like a timeline and a journal for me.